Alrighty, boys and girls, here we go. Doing some surface prep on the spalling. Okay, what we're using is this lovely tool, Ingersoll Ram Model 125 Needle Scaler. This is actually for welding, or removing rust, or removing loose concrete. So what I do is going to run over all this. I didn't really get an in-depth look for you guys to see how we were doing this. So this is some of the equipment that you need. That's uh. Uh, job mate what is that Dini Bisco air compressor that's Italian made wonder it's a little bit noisy um, and then we have the uh, we need a garden sprayer to get to keep the concrete moist because moist is a good thing we all know that right And uh, we'll wash down the looseness. You can see the looseness falling out. So don't skip this step. If you skip this step, don't do the job. If you're a step skipper, forget it. I'm telling you right now, you're wasting your time. You got to remove the loose. You can see it falling out, little pieces. You gotta remove it. It's gotta be hydrated. It's gotta stay hydrated. While you're using it, it's gotta stay hydrated. Let it absorb water. Cause you'll be fighting a battle if you don't. Uh, the trowels that I use. Uncle Sean's blasting this now. We're getting the finishing up on that window. That's the window repair to fill in. So he's blending that in now. And uh, again, we got to keep it moist. Wherever he's going, we're going to keep it moist. You don't got to go crazy. You don't. You don't got to rinse it out. The product today is all Crete uh, Fast Set. It's a. They call it a uh, a grout, and it is basically a grout. But the stuff works good because it will stick vertically, and that's the issue. Is getting it to stick vertically. You can mix it pretty pourable. Uh, it's basically a zero shrink product. So unlike cements, regular cements, it doesn't crack when it shrinks. So Obviously a square trowel to apply it, and a uh, need a couple of trowels. Um, yeah, so that's just basically troweling it in, and then there's a way of hand packing it in. Like we got all kinds of tools, so that's helpful. Um, I'm looking for a trowel. Okay, I'm gonna mix some up in a pail. This is I'll mix it stiff, and that's what I'm going to use to patch those holes that I was just uh, just hammering on with the uh, needle scaler. Stand by.
That's a good of this stuff. It works really well. It does a really good job. You just pack it in with this trowel. And pushing it in gives it the best contact. And if you push it in, these deep holes, these a little deep trowel, you'll get good contact, good adhesion. And I can tell by the color, my concrete's still moist. And to get quality job, don't skimp on the material. Spend the money, I'm telling you. These professional products that you can get, they do the job that they are intended to do. And they do it well. And I do them well. So there you go, look at how fast this is going, boys and girls. And I'm just using a pail, mixing up small amounts at a time. Sean's using a bigger amount, but I'm doing the smaller amounts at a time because this is deep holes to fill. And like that one's over an inch, and uh, you just won't get the, the pack, the pack that you do, unless you're using a small trowel. I like this square one. I don't like the pointed trowel. This is, this is my favorite here. It could be a matter of preference, I don't know, but this is the one I like, and it does the job well, and if you leave it low, that's fine, because you can put more on, and come around, the stuff sticks good to itself, if you know what I mean, I don't know if you can pick up the, the depth with the camera, but some of it is deep. Okay, so that's how you do that. Take your time, practice a little bit. I mean, you know, not practice, but just take your time, don't get frustrated. It's not that hard to do, and uh, there you go. Stand, stand by. Well, boys and girls, you can see that we're progressing right along. Um, down the wall, yeah, a bit, you can hardly tell where that window was. We're almost down to that corner with the surface. Uh, all the holes have been filled in here. Everything's looking good. We got a little bit of rework to do on that corner, so we're using plywood to uh, to give us a good straight edge to push against to get it square again. I'm working on this window. Uh, you can see the depth of the hole here, how much is eroded away. Uh, down the side, you can see that. That's how much is eroded away. So we made up a plywood form to fit in the window. Now the window's way out of square. Nothing's even close. It's got edges and well, it's got all kinds of jasmine all going on. So we just did the best that we could. I mixed this up a little bit on the, in the slurry side to shove it in deeper because all under here, up, up this way was all peddly looking like this is. So this is what you do is you get a form made up and Jake made up the nice form and then uh, we had to dick around to get it to fit in there because it's everything's out of square. But we got it to fit in through a couple of top cons in it there and there to hold it in place. When that cures we'll be able to pop it out and we should have a good clean square edge to work with. Uh, we're going to have some fooling around to do down in that hole obviously. But... It's working right along. I'll show you something other goofy hole that we had. Walk along. All those holes are filled. Uh, we had a big one over here in the corner. This hole goes down under and behind this. There's a mud room attached to the house. And this goes down in under there. So what I had to do is I mixed up some grout and floated in there. The hole is how I got the grout in there. I left this low so I'd have room to trowel in the grout and it poured in there. So I mixed up, well, it'll be a couple of quarts worth and let it flow in there. So that's how we handled that issue. So 
as you can see we're coming along the repairs are coming along nicely that's the mix we're going to use for purging when we get there we're not there yet but we'll get there uh, I got this little bit here to fix up this corner is low on top we'll fix that up make it nice and flush the bottom's got a hunk missing out of her there's a little bit of small stuff there nothing major we're gonna clean some of the paint off get that off so we can get some paint flowing yeah I'm not too sure what's going on here there's some weirdo stuff going on maybe I'll push that aluminum siding back and put a tap con on it or trim that off and it looks like shit anyway so there we are um, I'll, I'll give you an after shot when we're all done so I'll just uh, cut the video right here for now and then stand by and I'll show you when we're done all right boys and girls what the shed left on a trailer yeah you must have sold it well boys and girls here we are there's that big nasty hole that was in the corner all gone see that there you go take a look where am i i can't see because of the shadows there you go done we got this little spot left we got this spot left to do because soon as the sun comes over it's too hot it's just beating down on your neck so there's this area here's the window that we framed you can see earlier I'm gonna walk back a little bit to give you guys a better view so there's that um, there's behind the heat pump all that's done there's the old window and here we are up to the corner uh, that still needs a little bit of touch up and uh, there you go so this is our first basically our first attempt at concrete repair work and I don't know about you guys but I think it turned out pretty good and that just shows that if we can do it you can do it and uh, that's the way it goes so Look at that, eh? Smoking ribs. Yeah, you can smoke on a propane barbecue. You just gotta buy a proper proper smoking box and some chips. And here's the front. That's the one that had the hole. It hasn't dried yet because the sun's not beating on it. So there's that. So yeah. So do it yourself. Concrete repairs. Uh, Jim Zambi home style, uh, homestead style, a little homesteads in the village for now. Um, yeah. So if you're uh, if you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, welcome. We really appreciate the support in the channel. Um, so. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button. It supports the channel, makes the channel grow, moves it up in the algorithms. Hit the like button so you get more similar content. And uh, if you ring the bell, you'll get notification of when the uh, when there's new more content on. So that'll be it for today's video. Uh, take care, and uh, if you can't if you can't be with the one you love, love the one you're with. We'll see you soon.